Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, you guys, so I have some Kardashian Jenner tea for you guys. Now, we rarely ever talk about this Jenner sister, but she has been trending the last few days, so I'm going to go ahead and break it all down to you, okay? So usually everybody's talking about Kylie, but for the past week and a half, everybody's been talking about Kendall, okay? So what's going down is this. Um, there's a meme that's gone viral basically stating that Kendall has dated five of the NBA starting lineups. The number of the day is... And so Kendall got in her feelings and she decided to reply back to one of the people who was posting the memes on social media and she stated that it was two, not five of the guys that she was dating, okay? So once she stated that, her ex-boyfriend, Ben Simmons' sister, Liv Simmons, decided to drag the shit out of Kendall, okay? This is what Liv Simmons had to say. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So Liv says, I just wouldn't even want to be known for dating athletes. Like, imagine working your way through a league, not a team, a league. Then she goes on to say, I'd rather be crazy than be a hoe. Hashtag facts. Then she says this to Kendall Jenner fans who are coming at her. She says, oh, fuck you guys. I live under a tree. Hashtag shady life. Then she says, don't make me start stating facts. Y'all won't like that very much. I just know things. Honey. I was waiting for her to state them damn facts, bitch. Don't tease me and then not spill the damn tea, Liv, okay? So anyways, so after that went down, Ben Simmons then decided to troll his ex, Kendall Jenner, by posting a picture of him and his new buddy, Tristan Third Trimester Thompson, who is Khloe Kardashian's baby daddy, who cheated on Khloe with Kylie's best friend, Jordan Woods. This entire situation is messy as hell. Y'all go ahead and check out this picture. So Ben Simmons writes... Another great day with my brother at Real Tristan Thompson 13. All right, so you guys just saw what Ben Simmons had to say. So now if that's not bad enough, this has not been Kendall Jenner's week whatsoever, okay? So about a month ago, I remember reading reports that another ex-boyfriend of Kendall Jenner's, his name was Blake Griffin, yes, the one who left his baby mama for Kendall. So a month ago, he went to dinner with Kylie Jenner's friend, Madison Beer, okay? So Madison Beer and Kylie are really cool. They're always taking Snapchat pictures together. I guess Madison sings or something like that. I don't know. I don't listen to her music. Pretty girl, just I don't listen to her music, okay? So anyways, Kylie's gotten a whole new crop of friends, you know what I'm saying, ever since she, you know, kicked Jordan Woods to the woods, <laughs> literally. She has all these new little girls that she's hanging with, right? So now um, it's being reported by U.S. Weekly that that dinner that they had a month ago has now turned into a hookup. And they're saying that Madison Beer and Blake Griffin are now hooking up and they're smashing. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, but you know what? I'm here for it, bitch. Y'all go ahead and watch this clip and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. Revealed that Kylie's pal, Madison Beer, may have crossed the line with one of Kendall's exes. Now, while Madison Beer isn't necessarily Jordan Wood's status, she's still been included in several of Kylie's events and parties. However, that might be about to change as it's been revealed that she hooked up with NBA player Blake Griffin, aka Kendall's ex. In a new report from Us Magazine, a source said, quote, Madison went to the house in the Hamptons where Blake was staying this weekend to hang out with him. The source went on to name a place where the two were seen out together and confirmed that they did, quote, hook up. Well, that's not good. It's worth mentioning that this is not the first time Madison and Blake have been linked. Last month, the two were seen having dinner at the popular spot Craig's. However, at that time, a source claimed that Blake was only looking and not touching, as they stated that Blake and his friends have always thought Madison was, quote, hot. But it was complicated because Blake was friends with Madison's ex, Zach Bia, and of course, she's friends with Kylie. However, it looks like the two found a way around those complications, and that was flying to the opposite end of the country for a little rendezvous. Honey. So it looks like another friend, okay, is creeping with another sister's boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. The whole situation's a hot damn mess. I don't understand why all these people in Hollywood act like there's only so much peen and puss to go around, okay? There's so many people who live in LA. I don't understand why all these people continuously date and swap each other around. Now, what I find really interesting about this situation is this, okay? 
Now I understand Jordan Woods and Kylie, they're a lot closer. They were BFFs. They've known each other since the eighth grade. But I wonder if they're going to put this whole situation with Kylie Jenner's new friend, you know what I'm saying, smashing Kendall Jenner's ex-boyfriend, if this is going to make it onto the show the same way that they drug Jordan Woods and put out Jordan's business out there. I wonder if they're going to drag this out with Madison like they did Jordan Woods. Now I understand Madison, you know, she's not a longtime friend and she's new and plus Blake Griffin is an ex boyfriend of Kendall but if you're hanging tight with somebody's sister you might want to be respectful not to date that sister's ex-boyfriend that's usually girl code but as we all know a lot of these chicks they have no damn code again do I feel bad for Kendall no because they all engage in fuckery they all engage in you know taking other people's men's and sleeping with other people's men's and stuff like that you know so I don't really feel bad for her at the end of the day she's not with Blake Griffin she's moved on he's obviously moved on I think it says more about Madison Beard than anything. But again, like the old saying goes, birds of a feather flock to damn gather. Kylie shouldn't have shit to say. Just like I said before, she really shouldn't have shit to say about what Jordan Woods did. Because again, she did the same thing to Black China and Tyga and saw nothing wrong with that. The sisters saw nothing wrong with that. But then when the same, you know what I'm saying, mess ended up on Chloe's doorstep, all of a sudden it was an issue. But when Chloe Kardashian was fucking Trina's man, French Montana, that was all good. When Malika was fucking a married man, you know what I'm saying, who was chinks, drugs, who had a whole wife, it was all good. But then as soon as somebody does something to one of the Kardashian Jenner sisters, now all of a sudden they're victims. We need to feel bad. Like I told y'all from day one, I would not be shedding tattoo tears for any of these damn people, okay? I'm just going to sit here and sip slow and see what happens between Kylie and Madison Beer. I wonder if she's going to give her the damn treatment that she gave Jordan Woods and kick her out the damn inner circle. Bitch, you can't hang with us. You're not in the circle no more. I wonder if she's going to do that or she's just going to play it off like it's no big deal. Mm. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the Kardashian-Jenner clan, it's always some fuck shit going on with these ladies, and I'm here for all of it. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Do you think Madison Beer is wrong as hell for dating Kendall's ex-boyfriend? How do you feel about Kendall being... Ex <laughs> And then how do you feel about Kendall Jenner being accused of dating not just one, not just two, not just three, not just four, but five, count it, <laughs> five, like on damn Sesame Street, NBA starting lineups. That's the number one, that's the number one, Thursday. Five. And then how do you guys feel about Liv Simmons and Ben Simmons? throwing shade at Kendall, you know what I'm saying? It was all good when that was his girlfriend. Now, you know, they're throwing all types of shade her way. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.